Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and I am here to film another um, flip through for you guys. And I'm going to pull this up so you can see her in all her glory. Now, I don't know how to fix the brightness in my editing software, but I'm going to figure it out. <laughs> because the light in here is horrible and it is dreary today. Um, this junk journal is so stinking cute. I just love it. I can't stand it. It is just amazing. I really love this one. I really am tempted to just keep it for myself because I just love it so, so much. So it is a mixture between an Alice in Wonderland themed journal and just a regular vintage kind of tea theme. Um, I love it so much. Like I really love it. It is the mixture of two things that I absolutely love. So tea theme and Alice theme are just right up my alley. So it has like this just cute little collage of things on the front. Some of them are raised chipboard like this piece here, this piece and the flower. And then others are um, just flat and they're all Mod Podged on. So it gives this really nice texture and feel to it. I really love the way it feels. Then you have lace that wraps all the way around the spine, which there are three signatures and they are straight stitched on. And then the lace goes onto the back and then the back is Mod Podged as well. So super excited with this journal. I think it is just adorable. And then you have a ribbon closure with this like darker floral print, which I really like. I love the way this feels. It's very, very soft um, fabric. And then if you untie it, which I can't seem to find where the knot is because I'm all thumbs today, apparently. But when you untie it, in theory, it will come open. I'm just kidding. Um, Alaric is, you probably cannot hear him on the camera, but Alaric is fussing. He's not wanting to take his much needed nap today. So if you open her up, it has this really cute little stacked teacup thing going on with the flowers in them. And what's cute about this is that you can stick stuff in here. It's just a little tuck spot and it covers up the flowers. But when you take it away, they're there. So that's behind there. Um, and then you get to the first page, which is this very Alice themed um, kind of steampunk inspired um, pocket, side pocket that you have going on here. It's really cute. It says beautiful moments. Here's another little side pocket. I can't remember which side it opens on. This side, of course. The little butterfly and the bird. Little fabric tags. Um, here's some coffee dyed um, notebook paper. There's a pocket here with a library card inside. A little tool bow, which is really cute. Here's a little tuck spot here with the queen. Trust your heart. These stacked teacups are everything in life to me. I think they are so stinking adorable. And they are, this is a little pocket here that you can stick stuff into. I love this. So cute. And then you have this image here. It's just a tip in. So it's tipped in there. This behind it. You have that there. These just little tea ladies having a tea party. So you could, in fact, color this if you wanted to, of course. Oops, sorry. Knocking the camera. So you could, in fact, color it or you could just leave it be. And then up down below, if you pull this out as well, it's the other side of the sheet. With just these teacups and teapots really cute. Then here's an, another notebook page, coffee stained notebook page. And um, just these little vines, it says this way and that way. And they are um, in here with the brads. So they can move this way, no this way, that way. That was really cute. And um, here's a pocket here. And here is another tipped in page with another little tea set. And then it is blank space for journaling. And this is also a little pocket here. It says 
time for tea. There's that there. Here's the middle of the first signature here. This really pretty foiled page. And it has this little tucked teapot here. I reinforced it so it's thick. Um, just because when I fussy cut this out, um, I didn't want um, it to be flimsy. I wanted to make sure it was really sturdy. And this is like a resin teacup here. So I really like that. And these are like puffed up, these two books here. So you have some dimension. It says Mad Tea Party there. I, I did a lot of different um, coloring pages. This is actually some fabric washi. Um, this is a little tuck area here. It's tea time. And then it has the little cupcakes on this side. And then it has the tea set on this side. This one says Hope. It just has some journaling cards with some foiling. There's butterflies. There's another tool bow. This one is reinforced as well. And it just has the little um, drink me vial, but it says love. And then with just a key, a rose, a red rose. They're painting the roses red, of course. It's another coffee stain notebook page. This one says relax and enjoy with the little spoon. And this is a little pocket. There's a pocket as well. I just, I love like the kits, like the sticker kits and things that I used in the paper. I just kind of meshed it all together and married it together into this really cute theme that I think is just so pretty. Um, find me where the wild things are. Beautiful adventures. I just thought that was so cute. Create your own sunshine. Which is just some little bits in there. Move around. Bookmark. This opens up. It's a little tuck area here. Uh, make good things grow. Make today beyond amazing. And then it opens up into this writing space here. This is, this moves around as well. This is the second signature. Some more fabric tags. Um, this one says, hug in a cup, happiness is. And it is a tuck spot. And then the cup comes out as well. So you can stick the cup in. And then it's also a little tuck spot for other things. And then this clock moves. So I thought it was cute that the clock was upside down. Very Wonderland. This belly band. These journaling cards in here. If I can get them off, maybe. Cute. Curiosity. Curiouser and curiouser. This little tag here you can write on. Another little slip of fabric. It's a tuck spot with the roses. Another tuck. This one open. I guess not. I thought it did. Like I could have sworn it did because I can feel it and it is a writing space on the back. Um, some legal pad paper. Coffee dyed. It's coffee dyed as well. I really like the way that turned out with the dyeing on there. This. Goodness, excuse me. Rain makes me so sleepy. Do what makes your soul happy. These are really pretty foiled florals. And it is a double tuck. So you have two tuck spaces here. The middle of the signature, and it was just too beautiful to cover up. Um, I put this vine all the way across, which I absolutely love. And then these um, very Alice florals. And then it says, go back. Go back. This one says happiness. And there's some foiling in here as well. I love, 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 love this paper. There's another one I've added. It says tea is relaxing. And then the back of it just has tea time. It has some, the king 
The little king on the Disney cartoon is hilarious to me. Um, some more coffee dyed papers. Um, a little pocket there. Tuck spot here. This purple with this bird is just everything to me. Gardening notes. And here's just the little keys. Very steampunk-like. This says croquet and rabbit hole. And it just has a really beautiful journaling card in it. The library card on the back. So pretty. This journaling card is like, I might just keep this. I'm just kidding. Um, Be who you are. Courtyard this way. It just has time for tea. A little journaling card here. Super cute. Watch your step. Butterfly. Here's another like reinforced tuck area. And then this just opens for some more writing space. Some ladies having some tea. There's just some like tea treats on there. And this is the third signature. Bookmark says love. Some really cute graph paper writing space. Some more coffee dyed papers with some stamping of some petals on there. Queen of Hearts tea party. Just coffee dyed as well. Early bird. It's a tuck spot. And this is a pocket back here, but you also can open it and write on this space. Divine. I love this. I wish I could find many more of these because I would buy them all. This is some coffee dyed tracing paper and it just has some stamping on it. I love doing this with tracing paper. I think it's just gorgeous. I mean, I really do. I think it's just gorgeous. Butterfly and a flower. Some stamping on this coffee dyed paper here. Peace. Another little bookmark. This ribbon is so pretty too. So dainty. This is a little pocket place with some writing space on it. This is a tip in. It says, tea party this way over that way. Turn around. You are here. Sorry, I'm half blind and I can't see. This is a tuck spot here with these stackable cups that are so cute. Queen for a day. This is a pocket here with the Queen of Hearts tag. And then I put this flag trim and then I also put it upside down because it just felt very Wonderland to do so. I love the way this die came out too. Today is the day. The best is yet to come. Some more tracing paper with that stamped on it. This lady is so beautiful. She's so pretty. And it just has like a little cake shop. And plenty of writing space behind there. This is a tuck spot with these clocks here. Some journaling cards. Coffee dyed paper again. It's the other side of that graph paper. This really thick tag used as a really cute little tuck spot here's another tuck spot it says imagination and there we are at the end of the book i really love 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 how this one turned out so i'm going to be putting this in my etsy shop today which should be before you are seeing this video i'm sure you will see this video tomorrow i'm thinking and so i will put this in my etsy shop so it should be there or you to click on the link below in the description box and go straight to this listing. Um, and I am so excited about this one. I just think it is gorgeous. So thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.